Da -da! Finally made a choice. Get rid of that completely. Right then folks, welcome back to another fishing adventures and another exciting Too Many Tuesday. So before I get into that, you'll have noticed I've got the chair. Finally, if you've been following me on Facebook, you know that I've been looking for a chair for probably the best part of 18 months, if not a little bit longer, because I'd, I've changed seat boxes quite a lot and because of my back, I couldn't get comfy, I couldn't sit for ages. Even with the swivel seat from Matrix, it, it were giving me tons of jip eventually and I had to sack it off completely, which is why I got more into the low fishing. But a few people stepped up and said, right, why don't you try this chair? I use this one, it's fantastic, etc., etc." And I've moved it over and moved it over and I've gone with the MIDI basically because it's the only chair that I've sat on that has got a little cut out so you can ship a pole back without getting into a weird awkward position and because I fished the pole as well as rods I needed that and I've I've sat on it a couple of times just chilling out watching telly and it is the most comfortable chair I think I've ever sat on and this one is the it's the fully loaded one with all the attachments, little side tray, the, the rod rests, everything. So I'm dead excited to actually get on the bank and give that a go. And hopefully that'll be this week. So watch out for video coming towards the weekend. So two minute Tuesday, let's get two minutes up on that clock because I'm pretty knacked off really. Um, again, just for a change. And you may have seen on Facebook, if you follow us on there, the Preston Innovations stops pliers. They're the new invention that they're all going crazy for and they're charging 18 quid for these. 18 quid. Are they insane? We are getting robbed absolute blindly by these tackle manufacturers. That is, it's crazy, it's disgusting. I know the Preston fanboys will hate me for saying this, but you're getting your pants pulled down. You really are, it, it is ridiculous what they're charging and I did a bit of research just to back this up if you don't believe me right here we go the Cresta shot pliers do exactly the same job pretty much the same design they're just not blue they're grey they cost £6.99 you're getting charged 18 quid because they're blue basically that's the only real difference do you know what I mean they do exactly the same job who's going to see them who are you showing off to don't make sense to me the next best ones that I found were from Decathlon Sports, that big online doody that do everything. They have a set called Carpalan. They're £9.49 and they look the business because they do a multitude of jobs, not just the one. And they're £9.49. Do you know what I mean? And it, it's ridiculous what the tackle companies have got the audacity to charge for something that probably comes from China that costs £1.50 to make. Do you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure if you looked on AliExpress or any of these other websites, you'd probably get them for that price, plus a little bit of shipping. Fair enough, they take four weeks to get here, but 18 quid is taking the pee, in my opinion. It really is. And I, I know people follow certain tackle manufacturers, they buy everything Matrix, they buy everything Map. I've done the same thing myself, but you've got to draw the line somewhere. And 18 quid for a pair of pliers is ridiculous that they do one job. It is, it's insane. I've got a pair of jewelry pliers that do mine. I've had them 10 odd years. They're still going strong. They cost me 50p from a car boot, for God's sake. Do you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. And I think tackle companies need to have a bit of a, a wake up and, and smell the coffee because they're just robbing us blind for no reason whatsoever. And the, there comes a point where People are going to get put off paying that in a tackle shop, so they're going to start shopping online, which crucifies the local tackle trade. Do you know what I mean? It, it just doesn't really make any sense to me. So anyway, that was my two minute rant. I'm not entirely sure if that was two minutes or not, but I've got it off my chest and I feel a lot better. So please leave a comment below if you're excited and will buy a pair of 18 pound Preston Innovations stock suppliers or you're just not going to bother because you can see through the BS and you've got more brains basically than money. So, moving on swiftly. Um, no fishing been done at all, which I'm quite sad about, but I have been doing tons of other work, but I can't really show that on this channel. So I've set up another channel that will be getting a ton more content of behind the scenes, how-to videos, uh, more of the production side of things 
uh, like the how to do YouTube videos and stuff like that, uh, the tech that I use, why I use it, how I go about doing it, and a lot more behind the scenes of like the product shots and the photography that I'm doing now because I seem to have fallen into something that I'm really, really good at and the feedback's been absolutely tremendous. So uh, if you want to hop over to that channel, I'll leave a link in the description below so go and check me out on there. Fishing wise, as I've said, I've got the chair and oh my God, I am so excited to get using this chair. It just ticks all the boxes and yeah, I can't wait to sit on it and, and hopefully catch a fish or two. So the plan is, today's Monday, this will be live on Tuesday for Do Mini Tuesday and hopefully th Wednesday, I've pl plucked in Wednesday for a, a, a session up at the railway pond. I'm not going far. It's a bit of a shame the rivers are shut, but a pond will have to do. I'm going to nip up to the railway pond just with a, a bomb rod, a few worms, and I'm just going to go up there, chill out and see what happens, basically. I've got no, uh, no preconceived ideas and stuff like that um, because it doesn't work, it puts too much pressure on and it just ends up a complete and utter mess. Which is why I also feel that uh, I, I need to apologise to all of you guys and girls that, that watch the channel and, and have been here since day one because uh, my motivation and perhaps intentions for starting this channel were completely wrong basically. Um, I, I saw it as a way to make money, basically, uh, YouTube, and it, it set up wrong, completely and utterly wrong. Um, so I can only apologise for that because it's it, yeah, it's chopped and changed and stuff like that, and that, that's because I, I had preconceived ideas of what I wanted it to be and what I wanted it to achieve, and it's never going to do that because my mindset is, is completely wrong with the channel and stuff like that. So... Moving forward, there's going to be more fishing content, a lot more how-to stuff as well, because I don't have a massive amount of time to go out and go fishing now. So what I'm thinking is the the videos that I've done about making rigs and tying rigs and stuff like that always seem to go down really, really well with you guys and girls. So I want to keep doing them. I'm going to do a few more, hopefully, and, uh, and just keep you ticking over with new ideas and stuff like that. So if there's anything you want to know more about or something you've seen somewhere, that you want explaining, let me know in the comments below and I'll I'll do a little video about it from my point of view, basically. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's um, th there's going to be more fishing content coming. There's going to be some other stuff, but there's no preconceived idea. There's no pressure on me to do anything. I'm just going to go out, do some sessions and see what happens, basically. Um, as I said at the start of the year, I have got some challenges to do and I'm still going to do them because there's no real pressure to catch fish, to, well there is because I need to catch fish to do the challenge, but it's going to be fun either way, if, if I do it fair enough, if not there's going to be a forfeit and my boys are picking the forfeits and a spoonful of mustard has been mentioned a few times which I've done before and I, I nearly vomed, so that'll be uh, interesting if it happens but uh, we'll see. So thank you very much for your patience, service will resume normally very very soon and uh, stay safe, I'll catch you later, cheers.